I'm the instructor uh, for the what we're calling now the Burgerville Studio, and uh, it was actually this summer, and I was in a drive-through with my daughter at the Burgerville, and uh, I noticed that their mission, which is just you know so great, you feel really good about eating at Burgerville because it, it truly is fresh, local, and sustainable. That, um, but the architecture didn't quite match the mission, um, and as an architect, I was I. I was wondering if there was an opportunity for our students to explore um, an architectural strategy or strategies that might bring the architecture along so that it too can talk about this really kind of wonderful mission that Burgerville has. To get thousands of people to have the Burgerville experience at a cost that allows us to make money. <laughs> that's, that's what I was looking for. You know, how do you do this and do it in a way that actually um, honors the planet? and. You know, if we could help uh, some student architects uh, actually take that first step, and that's uh, that's a great thing. That's a great thing. It was it's really very cool to see the end result like this. So, and I haven't even seen all the uh, designs yet, so I'm excited to see the rest of them. It has been creative. It has been fun. It's been cost effective. Viable ideas, you know, abound here. Working with Burgerville has been exciting because. We, we have an actual client in a way and, and we get to work with someone in the community and we're outside of the studio, you know, we're not just um, designing in a bubble, we're, we're trying to, um, it's a collaborative effort. Yeah, it pretty much validates everything that we were going for here and, and uh, you know, deeper love and, and deeper appreciation for Portland State.